Prince Harry is on the warpath and angry Duke has made enemies of royal family. Prince Harry is on the warpath, according to a royal expert who insisted the Duke's anger and sadness was not caused by the royal family. Royal author Duncan Larcombe said Harry's anger and sadness stems from the death of his mother Princess Diana in 1997 when he was aged just 12. But according to Mr. Larcombe, the Duke, who is living in California after quitting royal duties with Meghan Markle last year, has made the royals his enemies because of that. The royal author, who has penned a biography on Harry, added that Harry will not be truly happy until he works through the trauma of losing his mother. Mr. Larcombe, who has penned a biography on Harry, told Closer, the cause of all his anger and sadness was never the royals, it was the trauma from his mum dying when he was a child. That's where the issues lie. I don't think he'll be truly happy until he works through that. He added, he has now made the royals and the institution his enemies because of that. He's on the warpath. Mr. Larcombe's comments come after Harry compared life as a member of the royal family to a mixture between the Truman Show and being in a zoo in a recent podcast interview. The Duke also revealed as a young man he did not want to be a working royal, saying, I was in my early 20s and it was a case of, I don't want this job, I don't want to be here, I don't want to be doing this. And he appeared to suggest that his father Prince Charles and the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh had failed as parents. The devastating comment came while the family is still mourning royal patriarch Prince Philip. Speaking on the Armchair Expert podcast, Harry insisted he wanted to break the cycle of genetic pain and suffering for the sake of his own children. He said, there is no blame. I don't think we should be pointing the finger or blaming anybody, but certainly when it comes to parenting, if I've experienced some form of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure I break that cycle so that I don't pass it on, basically. It's a lot of genetic pain and suffering that gets passed on anyway so we as parents should be doing the most we can to try and say you know what, that happened to me. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen to you. He added, it's hard to do but for me it comes down to awareness. I never saw it, I never knew about it, and then suddenly I started to piece it together and go okay, so this is where he went to school, this is what happened, I know this about his life, I also know that he is connected to his parents so that means he's treated me the way he was treated, so how can I change that for my own kids? And here I am, I moved my whole family to the US. That wasn't the plan but sometimes you've got to make decisions and put your family first and put your mental health first. Harry's podcast appearance came just two months after he and Meghan made a set of damaging claims about their royal family in their controversial Oprah Winfrey interview. The TV interview plunged the years into crisis in the wake of Megxit, and Harry is expected to speak out once again in a new documentary on mental health which he has teamed up with Winfrey for. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit as working royals in March 2020. They are now pursuing new lives of personal and financial freedom in America. Since ditching royal duties, they have signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify to make shows and podcasts. The couple, who are expecting their second child, have set up home in impound 11 million mansion in Montecito.